Is that a seagull? I think so. What are you up to today, kitten? I'm hoovering this blooming pool. We haven't been here for a few days and all insects have been dying in it. Do you want me to get another chlorine block? Um, but don't toss it in because you'll disturb everything on the bottom and I have to wait until it sinks. All these little, I don't know, the little dead flies and stuff. And there's another lemon there. Uh, I'll get that out with the net. Um, yeah, I'll get the net in a minute, but the net stirs it all up. But you can see them all over the bottom there. And the secret of success with this is to move as slowly as possible. I've got is a friend it, at the it, moment it, who's fighting a losing battle with a load of... Um, those helicopter leaves, you know, the ones that spin. Cleans, oh, yeah. cleans her pool, turns her back for five minutes, and hers is a real swimming pool, big one. <laughs> and, and a whole load more of blown in. Plus we get all this, um, we either get, if the, if the wind is a southerly or southwesterly, we get Sahara dust, which comes down, which is quite messy but it's, it's sort of yellowish. And if it's an easterly, and it's coming from Tabernas, which is the only desert in Europe, in Spain, everything's covered in orange. That's where the blood rain came from. In fact, I think that blood rain came from the, um, the other direction, the Canaries, you know, the volcano. Do you remember, the whole yeah, sky yeah, yeah, went yeah, yeah. red. Dark red. And oh, the, it all settled on the road. All we were all slippery, cleaning, slippery patches. Cleaning mud off everything for for months. It was really sticky stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I always thought that was from Morocco, from the desert. No, well, that that one I'm sure came from the Canaries, which is way further south. But the the Tabernas is a really interesting desert. A lot of it is just rock, just volcanic rock. But then there are huge patches of it that are sandy. We were going to live up there once, weren't we? Yeah, it looked nice. I'd love to go up and have a look, see what it's like up the there. The only risk up there is um, fires, you know, forest fires. Get them down here, Graham. Grass fires, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we need to have another look. I, I like the mini Hollywood, you know, the uh, the yeah. western towns and that. These, I bet they've come on a lot. It was 20 years ago since we've been there. Yeah, yeah, they were, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a family Graham wanted to see the house where they made Once Upon a Time in the West with Claudia Cardinale. Found the house, so the whole family ran out, grabbed hold of us and insisted that we go and join them for dinner and watch Once Upon a Time in the West, all in Spanish of course. And I'm not a big Western fan, Gra Graham loves it, but I've seen that film a million times. Oh, it's a very God. long, slow film, we isn't it? We were stuck there for hours, weren't we? And we didn't really speak Spanish at all then, so we didn't know how to make our excuses politely. Or... So we had to sit there and their, their granny cooked us dinner. <laughs> and they gave us a bottle of wine that they'd made out of potatoes or something. That was horrible, wasn't it? And they'd, bless them, they'd written the label with felt tip and, and the, the sons were all... Can you tell everyone in England that we're selling Once Upon a Time in the West wine? <laughs> like anyone had listened to us. Yes, yeah. it's all changed up there now. So how long do you take you to clean this? Oh, I do it over and over and over again until it goes crystal clear. Do you want me to clean the filter out? <laughs> it's not bad, actually. It's not bad. When I've done this lot, yeah, you could put a toss of brick in it. Okay. Yeah. I might get in it today actually. It's a bit cold. Is it? Yeah. I think the filter's blocked so it's it's flashing on the screen there. Uh, All right. Right, I'll sort yeah. the filter out yeah. and then I'll uh, I'll get you some more chlorine. Perfect, thank you.